Good morning, YouTube. It is Saturday, I believe August 12th. I believe, maybe. <laughs> um, sorry, I've been kind of MIA. You can hear I'm still sick, but I'm going to be having and hosting a girls' night tonight. So I thought I would kind of record my day, maybe take you through my workout because I have started my new program from Paul, and today is my bikini volume workout. Ooh, it looks like a killer. So I'll try to record it for you guys. But right now, I'm about to prep um, the food for dinner. I am making frozen sweet potato fries. I just got, I'm going the cheap route. I just got the Simple Truth. Too much crap in my freezer. Thin cut sweet potato fries. So I'm going to be making those in the oven. And then I'm going to be making chicken sausage kebabs. So I have got some tomatoes. Mushrooms, I did peppers, I've got orange, green, and red in there. Um, and then I'm doing chicken sausage. I am starting with the chicken and apple. And then depending on if I need more, I also have these. These are just red pepper and Asiago. Um, so I'm gonna prep these, skew them, and have them ready just to bake in the oven when the girls get here. It is only like 10.30 in the morning, so <clears throat> I'm gonna do this, get ready, uh, eat my pre-workout meal, go to the gym, and then I'm going to come back and I'll check in with you guys in the next clip. All right, just finished my pre-workout meal. I had some cream of rice, chicken, some blueberries, cinnamon, stevia, and some better PB for lower fat, higher carb. And I'm super full, so I'm digesting, getting ready to go to the gym. But I got some new workout clothes from Aeropostal Online. This is like a little high-low, you guys can see a little high-low crop. And then I got some just like maroon crop pants. And then I also got a crop in white and then I got these pants as well they're a crop and they've got some like uh, I cannot think of what it is <laughs> mesh got some mesh on the side the pants were $11.99 and the shirts were $7.99 so go check them out but I'm gonna go work out like I said today is my bikini volume day so I have some glutes and shoulders so I'm starting with I believe leg press then I have um, barbell hip thrust and then I have sumo deadlift and then I have overhead shoulder press and then dumbbell lateral raise and then I'm gonna end my glute burnout with I think some banded squats and banded side steps and then I'm gonna end my shoulder burnout with a drop set of lateral raises and then a set of front raises with the drop set as well. So let's get to the gym and I will show you guys what I'm doing. So I wanted to hop on here and do a quick voiceover for this workout. This is my bikini volume workout of the week, so it is a lot higher rep. My new program is very strength-based, and I'm working towards a six to 10 rep range on my movements during the week, but this one is my volume day. So I started out with some glute activation with my band, did some kickbacks and some squats and some abductor work, and then I got to work on the actual workout. All my rep ranges, we're ranging between 30 and 10 and each time the rep range decreased you had to increase the weight so I'll explain the rep range on each exercise and kind of what I was doing and then I also added some accessory work at the end
So the first movement was leg press, and this is the first time I've done leg press, uh, probably since before my first show, because it was bothering my hip, but I do have this new machine. It's more of a squat press at my new gym, and it doesn't seem to hit my hips as much. I think it's because it's got a higher foot placement. So my rep ranges on this was 30, 20, 15, 12, 10, and I increased the weight with each set. And I really was focusing on pushing through my heels and keeping a wide and high foot placement to really target the glutes. The next movement was a sumo deadlift. And as you can see here, I am doing it on the Smith machine. That is because if you've been following me for a while, you know I have had to remove a lot of my compound lifts because again, that hip injury and I have been still experiencing some pain down through my leg um, but I do find that the Smith machine really helps you with the stabilization and the movement and allows me to get the weight up than what I would be doing on a barbell because I really focus on that glute isolation and if you're having any problems with feeling that isolation do try the Smith machine because it does help you isolate those movements and really feel that contraction. Then I moved on to the hip thrust, again, doing it on the Smith machine for the same reasons. I just pull a bench up behind and put a pad on my hips for protection. And again, I was doing 25, 20, 15, 10 on these and increasing the weight as the reps went down. Then I moved on to some glute accessory work. I did some kickbacks. I did three times 15 on each leg and I supersetted it with some standing cable hamstring curls and these really hit my hamstrings. I love them because it really isolates the single leg movement. I do stand on a platform as you will see because it really helps with that extension. And then after this, I ended with a little glute burnout and I just did my favorite banded side steps. I did three sets of 30 to 40 reps and just really focused on feeling that contraction. Make sure you squat down, push that booty out and really step with your heel and step as far as you can and push through that heel. And I promise you, your glutes will be burning by the end. So the first part of this workout was really glute focused and then the second part is more shoulder focused. So here I am doing an overhead barbell shoulder press. I am not to the point where I can do the barbell at the rep range it was because again this was 25, 20, 15, 12, 10 and increasing weight each set. So I am working my way back up to the barbell for that rep range but not there yet. And then I moved on to dumbbell side lateral raises. This was again 25, 20, 15, 12, 10. And then I did a drop set to burn them out at the end. And I just worked down, back down the rack and just went until failure on each set. And then I ended with some cable front raises. I did the same rep range as I did the lateral raises and then did a drop set at the end to really burn out my delts, but I do like hitting my delts from all different angles. So make sure you hit those rear, side, and front delts in your shoulder workouts. This improvement season, I've really been making it a point to make sure I'm still implementing some ab work. So I moved on to abs to end this workout. I did three sets of 15 of all of these ab movements. I did hanging leg raises. I do still have a very weak lower back, so I do like doing the hanging leg raises on this machine. And my new gym has this ball on it, and it really does help support that lower back and really focus on that ab contraction. Then I moved on to some oblique work, just kind of held a 25 pound plate and did some oblique crunches. And again, I did three sets of 15 on each side. Back from 
the gym. I hope you guys enjoyed that workout. I kind of switched up the accessory work I was going to do, so hope you guys give it a try and enjoy it. I'm about to sit down and eat my post-workout meal. Got it right here. It's just a bed of shredded lettuce with 300 grams of butternut squash. Um, the What I had left over of this like beefless beef strips that I had, they're really good. Um, there's like 126 grams left with a slice of fat-free cheese melted up in it for a little bit more protein and topped with sugar-free ketchup. And I'm keeping my meals low fat because again, I'm having my free meal tonight. Sorry, I sound disgusting, oh my goodness. So keeping it low fat, um, I had about 55 grams of carbs before my workout. This is about, I would say between 35 and 40 grams of carbs. These are gonna be the two meals I have before my free meal. Um, so I will show you guys what we are having tonight. We're having those kebabs, sweet potato fries, and then the girls are bringing over some appetizers and wine. And then, oh, update from Paul. I did get an update back. Um, he increased my carbs and my fat because actually my weight dropped down about a pound um, from last week so he upped my carbs 12 grams and up my fat 3 grams so we are moving on up and I'll be back with my macros tomorrow so I'm gonna go because I can't talk much longer without breathing so I'll see you guys in the next clip alright guys sorry I did not get much footage from the girls night but I hadn't seen these girls in a really long time so just enjoyed the time with them we had some snacks they brought a nice cheese platter and some crackers and I made the kebabs sweet potato fries you didn't end up eating much of them because we all filled up on the snacks I'm just finishing my last glass of wine and then I think I may because we haven't eaten we ate at like 7 and it's like 11 sorry I'm looking at the wrong corner and I have a wine mustache <laughs> but I think I might enjoy some halo top tonight so I'll check in with you guys but I'm just kind of sitting and relaxing right now but just wanted to check in and say that it was good night and I'll see you guys in the next clip good morning and I still sound like crap <laughs> <coughs> sorry about that I am headed down to do just a little bit oh my gosh you guys I am so sorry do a little bit of light walking because I am so sore for my new program you guys I literally was looking at it and was worried that it like was not gonna be enough and I haven't been this sore in a really long time so I'm gonna go walk a little bit um, plan out my meals for this week in my fitness pal and then head to the grocery store and I'll show you guys what I get. See you guys soon. Alright, back from the store and I thought I would show you guys some of the stuff I got. So I'm just going to unpack while I'm showing you. <laughs> some stuff you may not need to see. But, stocked up on some decaf coffee. Always good to have. Uh, warm stuff makes me like less hungry when I have it so decaf coffee and tea is great and of course if I got decaf coffee means I gotta get some regular coffee just the Fred Meyer like donut chop brand it's only like $4.99 a box got some unsweetened cashew milk I just got uh, regular unsweetened and I got vanilla uh, because I do take the vanilla to work and have it in the fridge there. I stocked up on my puffs, got some banana, some strawberry, and because my fat has been increasing, I've been getting these too because these have the same amount of carbs, only five. They do have some fat in them, 1.5 grams. These are the maple vanilla and they are so good. Um, and then, of course, stocked up on some Arctic Zero. I got Cookie Shake. And what other flavors did I get? The important stuff. Cake batter. Uh, chocolate peanut butter. My fave. 
And, oh, and then I got this because I haven't tried this flavor, toasted coconut. And then my new, new fave, the Kroger birthday cake. This literally is so much better. I keep cutting myself off. Better than the Halo Top one, in my opinion. It literally tastes like Funfetti. It's so good. Then I got my favorite Bolt House, the creamy cilantro avocado. So good. And then, of course, that free whip. So good. Um, what else do I got here? Good old rice cakes. Got some caramel rice cakes. White cheddar rice cakes. And then I stocked up on some neon straws because I drink everything with a straw, even my coffee. I got into that habit. Sorry, I'm like moving around and you guys are on a protein tub. <laughs> I got into that habit with my braces because uh, coffee would stain my braces. So I drink everything out of a straw. So, still in that habit. And of course, of course, of course, shred lettuce. Even with my carbs increasing, I still just like stick to the same foods. I just eat more of them. So, all the shreds. And then these are so good. I don't know if I've shown you guys these. You know I love the Beyond Beefless Crumbles, but I can't find them at my new friend Meyer. But I did find these, and these are beefless beef strips. Um, I'm not vegan or anything. I eat a lot of meat, but sometimes I like to add these in. If like my protein is getting too high for the day, they're a lot easier to add in. The macros of these for 75 grams is 2.5 fat, 0 carb, and 11 protein. So they're really good. Um, stocked up on those. I just dumped all my tomatoes all over the floor. But I got tomatoes, so we're going to have to clean those up. Uh, some Mio's. This is just the Kroger brand. I got strawberry watermelon and orange tangerine. Is there anything else? Try not to step on my tomatoes. And then I stocked up on Carb Masters. So these are amazing. I'm actually going to try one of these in my protein waffle this morning. So before I close out this vlog, blog, I'll show you guys how they turn out. Again, if you guys haven't had these, the macros on these are 1.5 fat, 5 carb, and 9 protein. So I got white chocolate raspberry. Cinnamon roll is my favorite. And banana cream pie. Didn't even show you guys. Banana cream pie. And blueberry muffin. Flavors I got. Got some mushrooms. Uh, butternut squash. My fave. Sorry, I had to set that down. Gonna be making that today for meal prep for the week. Got some more whipped cream cheese. This stuff is awesome. Um, 4.5 fat, 2 carb, and 1 protein. So good. And then... Spaghetti squash. Gonna be meal prepping that as well. And then... The last thing I got... It's just some 93.7 ground turkey. I got the big guy today. I'm gonna be having that all week. So... That is, I think that's it. Yep, that is it. So I'm gonna put all this away, then I'm gonna make my protein waffle. Gonna try it with the yogurt in it and see how it turns out. And I'll check in with you guys next. Well, that was a complete fail. But you know what? <coughs> I'm gonna eat it anyways. It was an egg, a container of that Carb Master. I did the blueberry muffin yogurt a scoop of protein, and some baking powder. And I don't know if it was too hot, but they just kind of like came out all crispy and fell apart. But I'm just gonna eat it like I normally do, put my outfit on the top, a little bit of syrup, a little bit of peanut butter. Um, actually, I did 30 grams of whipped cream cheese and 20 grams of whipped peanut butter. So I made a little like concoction, mixed it up, put some cashew milk for that volume, froze it, so I'm going to put that on top, and I'm going to close out the vlog right here just because I'm still not feeling the greatest, but I hope you guys enjoyed the workout, and please let me know what else you want to see, topics you want me to discuss, and I'll see you guys in the next one, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys soon.